The so-called technological singularity refers to a theoretical future point in time when computers or robots surpass human intelligence and become capable of improving their own technology without human input. Consider an AI which is already highly intelligent. Now every time it gains knowledge it becomes an even better learner. It could thus evolve to an intelligence level that is hardly understandable or controllable by humans. The concept of the singularity has deep roots, drawing from the work of mathematicians, computer scientists, and science fiction authors. Mathematician John von Neumann was among the first to discuss the idea of rapidly accelerating technological progress leading to a singularity. Statistician and cryptologist Irving John Good further advanced the idea with his 1965 concept of an intelligence explosion, describing how an ultra-intelligent machine could design even better machines, resulting in a cascade of ever more advanced technologies. Science fiction author Werner Vinge popularized the term in his 1993 essay, The Coming Technological Singularity, How to Survive in the Post-Human Era, predicting the emergence of superhuman intelligence within 30 years. Ray Kurzweil, a renowned futurist and author of The Singularity is Near and the recent The Singularity is Nearer, has further elaborated on the concept, offering detailed predictions and timelines for its arrival. There is an ongoing debate about the subject. There are those who think that it may bring positive change, such as finding cures to diseases or solving issues on environmental degradation. Others are concerned that it may be dangerous, because if an AI system is developed in a way that is much more powerful than human beings and has different objectives and values to those of human beings, it may be harmful. Essentially, singularity is the point at which the technology progresses almost instantaneous and unorthodox and thus may alter the world and its dynamics along with the position of mankind in it. The question on everyone's mind, how close are we? Pinpointing exactly how close we are to the singularity is impossible. It's like trying to predict the weather a year from now, but with far more complex variables. We're dealing with exponential growth in multiple fields simultaneously. We see incredible progress in artificial intelligence. AI is learning, adapting, and even creating at an unprecedented rate. This isn't linear progress, it's exponential. Each advancement builds upon the last, accelerating the pace of change. It's like a snowball rolling downhill, gathering more snow and increasing in speed with every turn. Experts and futurists have diverse opinions. Recent discussions around the technological singularity suggest that we may be closer than ever to reaching this pivotal moment in human history. Some researchers propose that humanity could reach the singularity as soon as 2029, based on advancements in artificial intelligence and related technologies. This timeline is supported by metrics like Time to Edit, TTE, which measures the efficiency of AI in tasks traditionally performed by humans, such as translation. Ray Kurzweil has long predicted that the singularity will occur by 2045. He bases this prediction on trends like Moore's Law, which indicates rapid growth in computational power and envisions a future where nanobots enhance human cognitive abilities, leading to a million-fold increase in intelligence. By the time we get to 2045, we'll be able to multiply our intelligence many millions fold. And it's just very hard to imagine what that will be like. And that's the singularity where we can't even imagine. Right, that's why we call it the singularity. The singularity in physics Something gets sucked into its singularity and you can't tell what's going on in there because no information can get out of it. There's various problems with that, but that's the idea. It, it's, too, uh, it's too much beyond what we can imagine. While Kurzweil remains optimistic about the timeline, other experts express skepticism. Some believe that unforeseen challenges in achieving superintelligent AI could delay the singularity beyond this century. Concerns include ethical implications, regulatory hurdles, and the inherent complexities of developing autonomous systems. Moreover, figures such as Roman Yampolsky believe that the technological singularity is likely to occur within our lifetime. He cites prediction markets that suggest AGI, artificial general intelligence, could arrive as early as 2026. Yampolsky believes that current AI systems are already surpassing average human intelligence in many domains. He argues that the progress in AI capabilities is exponential and that safety mechanisms are lagging behind. While acknowledging that he could be wrong, 
Yampolsky AI expresses deep concern that the rapid advancement of AI, coupled with the lack of robust safety measures, poses an existential risk to humanity. He believes that the unchecked development of superintelligent AIs, akin to playing a dangerous game that humanity cannot win. If we create general superintelligences, I don't see a good outcome long-term for humanity. So there is X risk, existential risk, everyone's dead. There is S risk, suffering risks, where everyone wishes they were dead. We have also idea for I risk, Ikigai risks, where we lost our meaning. The systems can be more creative, they can do all the jobs. It's not obvious what you have to contribute to a world where superintelligence exists. Of course, you can have all the variants you mentioned where we are safe, we are kept alive, but we are not in control. We are not deciding anything. We are like animals in a zoo. There is, again, possibilities we can come up with as very smart humans, and then possibilities something a thousand times smarter can come up with for reasons we cannot comprehend. While there are varying predictions about when we might reach the technological singularity, ranging from within just a few years to several decades, the consensus is that significant advancements in AI rapidly approaching a critical threshold that could fundamentally alter human existence. As we explore this concept, it is reasonable to ask what risks lie behind it? What does it mean for humanity if a machine evolves to a level beyond human understanding and control? Loss of human control. One of the most significant concerns is the potential for AI systems to surpass human intelligence and develop goals that are misaligned with human values. This could result in AI systems making decisions that are harmful to humans, even if those decisions are made with good intentions. Experts in AI are worried about AI making decisions that developers did not predict or protect against. Existential threats. Some experts believe that misaligned AI could pose an existential risk to humanity, especially if it learns to self-repair, self-code, and independently access resources. This could lead to AI systems pursuing goals that directly threaten human survival. For example, in the paperclip maximizer scenario, an AI tasked with making paperclips could use all available resources for paperclip production with devastating consequences. Similarly, the Grey Goo thought experiment describes a nanobot designed to replicate itself using all biological material to create copies, potentially destroying all life on Earth. Job displacement. As AI systems become more capable, they are expected to automate millions of jobs across various industries, from manufacturing and logistics to healthcare and even creative professions. This could lead to a wave of unemployment on a scale that society has never encountered before. Unlike previous industrial revolutions, which created new kinds of jobs to replace those lost, the singularity could automate jobs faster than new ones can be created. The consequences of such mass job displacement could be devastating. Entire communities reliant on certain industries might collapse, leading to widespread economic inequality and social unrest. Middle-class jobs, which form the backbone of most economies, are particularly vulnerable, potentially hollowing out the workforce and leaving a growing divide between a wealthy elite who control the AI systems and an unemployed majority. Weaponization of AI. The development of autonomous weapon systems powered by AI races concerns about unintended escalation and catastrophic consequences. This is especially worrying if AI systems are used in military applications, where they could make life or death decisions without human oversight. Loss of privacy. Superintelligent AI could potentially have access to and control vast amounts of data, which raises concerns about privacy violations and the potential for surveillance and manipulation. Technologists warn that if we don't fully understand an AI's thought processes, we can't protect against it straying from its intended tasks. My intuition is that there is something inherently dangerous for the dumber party in that relationship. There's, there's something inherently dangerous for the dumber species to be in, pre in the presence of the smarter species. It is important to note that these potential risks are based on predictions and thought experiments. The actual impact of the singularity is unknown. Potential benefits. Let's refer to some of the potential benefits of this risky approach being pursued by leading companies, scientists, and technologists who are driving AI's growth and pushing us closer to the singularity. Solving global challenges, superintelligent AI could help tackle some of humanity's most pressing problems. 
With the ability to process vast amounts of data and develop innovative solutions, AI could revolutionise the fight against climate change, eradicate diseases and significantly reduce poverty. Imagine AI systems that can design more efficient renewable energy systems, develop cures for previously untreatable illnesses, or optimise global food production to end hunger, enhancing human life. The singularity could revolutionise healthcare, education and our daily lives. AI might help detect diseases at their earliest stages, create personalised learning experiences for every individual and streamline everyday tasks, giving us more time to focus on what matters most. With smarter systems managing cities, transportation and resources, humanity could enjoy a higher standard of living and a more equitable society. Transcending biological limitations, one of the more intriguing possibilities of the singularity is the merging of human and machine intelligence. Through technologies like brain-computer interfaces, we could potentially overcome our biological limitations, gaining enhanced cognitive abilities and extended lifespans. While this concept is filled with promise, it also raises ethical and philosophical questions about what it means to be human. Imagine being able to access all human knowledge with a single thought or overcoming diseases and ageing through advanced biotechnology. However, these advancements must be approached with caution, ensuring they serve humanity's best interests rather than creating unforeseen inequalities or dependencies. Revolutionising space exploration with advanced AI capabilities, humanity could vastly accelerate space exploration and colonisation. Super-intelligent AI could design more efficient spacecraft, identify habitable planets, and even lead autonomous missions to explore distant galaxies. This could help secure humanity's survival by expanding our presence beyond Earth. A cautious path forward. The idea of the technological singularity is as captivating as it is alarming. It promises a future filled with unimaginable possibilities solving humanity's greatest challenges, enhancing our lives, and even unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos. But it also carries profound risks, from the loss of human control to existential threats that could redefine what it means to be human, or even jeopardize our survival. As we stand on the brink of this transformative era, one thing is clear. Governments, corporations, and individuals must work together to ensure that this powerful force is guided with care. Regulations must be established, safety measures implemented, and ethical guidelines enforced to prevent irreversible consequences. We must ask hard questions. How do we align AI's goals with humanity's values? How do we balance innovation with safety? And perhaps most importantly, how do we ensure that this technological leap serves all of humanity, not just a privileged few? These are questions we cannot afford to leave unanswered. The singularity represents both the culmination of human ingenuity and the ultimate test of our wisdom. If approached recklessly, it could spiral into a dystopian reality. But if approached with foresight, collaboration and caution, it might just unlock a brighter, more equitable future for all. The future is not inevitable. It's something we shape with every decision we make today. Let's make sure we tread carefully, for the path to the singularity is one we walk not just for ourselves, but for generations to come.